What's going on, guys? You're listening to the Local Play Only podcast, live and in person. Yeah. Not real really change. live. You're probably going to see this later <laughs> on. But in person, we're live. Seems good. Who are you? I know. It's, it's so weird. Yeah, it's, who is he? Well, I'm more mad you didn't say your who name. Who are any so. of us? You know? It's a good question. What are, right? what are we doing here? What are we is this real? <laughs> no. What are you, are you going to go into Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, it's obviously our first podcast back. We've done five or six online yeah because how many did we do that were guest month podcasts? we did three we got guest we got jimmy down for the anime we had matt for castlevania and then dan for D D. but that, that was online yes yeah i think that was it because then we were supposed to have jenna for uh um, lawn which never came which still has not come out and correct. then what was our fifth one uh mike wasn't it mikey oh it was mike for movies yeah and Movie we didn't mike. get yeah we didn't uh, get mike any just of never those. never was able to do it unfortunately but uh, no, I think the time off was kind of good. I think that for a while there, like I addressed this in the Instagram post a bit, I just felt a little like burnt out. And I never really felt like the, not to discount them, but I never felt like the online ones had the same feel. Like it didn't feel as genuine as, as it does right now, mm. you know? I liked it. And as I said, I went through different levels of like motivation where... Um, you know, when we first started, I wasn't loving them that much. So then I made all the overlays and that kind of stuff. And that kind of got me pumped. But yeah, it's like anything. Just people have different levels of like where they're at online. It's the same with like when we play D&D online and stuff like that. Yeah. Like some people have just have a harder time like paying attention or getting pumped or there's too many distractions and stuff like that. So in person is obviously ideal. Yeah, I can't post Nina Tucker memes in person. <laughs> so, I mean, you can. I, I can. You can be I, like, I check did a, it. <laughs> I did a lot of that. Look at this meme. I think it's it's similar to how I feel about the gym in a way where like I I could probably get some workout equipment for like my house, but the idea of going to a location and setting aside a certain amount of time where I can just like zone in and focus and do something, I'm always a bit more successful with that. And you know, I, I don't know, just doing it in person to me will always be much much better. Yeah, I mean the one thing about doing it in person now is it's just like so much set up because it's been so long yeah like and we have a lot of things we want to change still too like we want like the new desk and all you know slightly better room and that kind of stuff which would be cool you know some plants would be nice some some, some wildlife decor. foliage yeah you know give us some oxygen down here nah. but yeah it's cool doing in person that's at least nice that now we can have and we can have uh seven more guests on too if we want uh, before we start breaking the rules so uh, this thing only supports up to four mics so darn but you can plug a computer in, and on the computer you can have mics attached separately through USB. Oh, of course, can get real fancy. Course. We can just do a big video call or a big uh, Bluetooth call. It's true. People. Yeah, we can yeah, have yeah. a big group call. You can even just have Skype and then record everybody from Skype. Yeah, yeah. Ten people. But this all leads to why are we why are we doing it in person again? What's the main draw? What are we talking about? I was today? like, because because we're loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're we're loud. No, the yeah. main draw is that there was a PlayStation Five reveal. Is what Phil was looking for. <laughs> there was, there was, and Gosh. it's a lot better than the last um, PlayStation, PlayStation Five that reveal. me and Phil filmed. <laughs> yes. Oh, the like the the uh, tech one. As yeah. much as I liked that charismatic Andy Dick, uh, it was still just boring as shit to watch. Yeah, I'm glad that they still had that because. Um, going into, going into this, I was kind of expecting them to showcase like the SSD or the 3d audio and like, they, did. Have, they just mentioned game it briefly. Yeah. Around oh, they it. showed off the three, the SSD. Yeah. And we'll get to that. Cause one <laughs> game, yeah. I feel like every, every generation, anytime they have some sort of new implementation, they always try to have like one launch game. That's like, this is tech just demo a, the game. Yeah. It's like a showcase of this, yeah. but I think this one will be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I went over to Phil's to watch it, so we did watch it together, um, you know, without breaking any rules, luckily. Uh, we were debating on doing, like, a live film, but it would require a lot of setup, and mm. we didn't have that much notice and that kind of stuff, so... But it was still fun to watch. It was it was good. It was exciting. It was kind of pulled together, more or less, at the last minute, because I think that we were thinking about it a little bit more seriously when it was uh, the original date. Yeah. Because then, it, 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 I don't know just the idea of it was more like set in stone where this one, I feel like it was just like thrown together like three or four days in advance and like, yeah, trying to figure out what was going to go on and how we could record. It just didn't work out. It was good watching it though. Like, oh yeah. I, I didn't think it would it. almost be two hours though. It was like an hour and what? 35 minutes or something like that. 
I think it was like an hour 20. Yeah, hour 20, oh, okay. Call. Um, but no, I was, I was expecting certain things um, that we didn't get. Like, I was actually really expecting Silent Hill. That uh, was like... I knew I there was no way in hell Silent Hill was happening. Konami doesn't know how to make games anymore. We could have got Phil. a PT too. That uh, no. Well, there was like a heavy, heavy rumor that we were going to get that. Yeah. And one of the trailers definitely, I was like, okay, this is it either going to be been. one or the other. And then there, I knew what the one was. As soon as it started playing, I was like, this is this, and <sighs> I know it. It's so good. So, so the preferences before we start the episode. Uh, unlike normal podcast episodes, we do a what we've been up to, and, and I feel like the what we've been up to is is bigger and more important than ever because it's been like we have two, two or three filmed episodes that haven't been out yet, um, yeah. just because they were like online podcast ones. Um, but like it's still been at least what two months since we even recorded, a or month a month and a half so since least, we recorded. Yeah. Yep. Um, so it's a big thing. So we're just gonna skip that all together, and we're just gonna get straight to the PlayStation Five stuff. We're gonna go over in order, game by game couple brief opinions on it yep. um gonna go over some we'll start even with some expectations before we saw it but what were we absolutely expecting to see what were we not expecting to see that kind mm-hmm. of stuff and then at the end we'll just do like a brief wrap up like if yep. we thought it was good anything that we thought they were missing for sure yeah. stuff like that um but as i said i was expecting silent hill i was expecting a price and release date or one or the other yeah, yeah either one like even if it said fall 2020 or Early winter 2020. I mean, no matter like what, something. we know it's holiday 2020 because they can't have PlayStation 5 games before PlayStation 5. They they, they usually release games a bit, like a week or two early. Yeah. Like, uh, they, I remember when the PS4 and Xbox One came out, the NBA was technically in stock before the systems were out. That's weird. Because they launched the same day as the other NBA games. Maybe that's what they'll do with the this new NBA. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was expecting, I wasn't so much expecting to see a price because I thought A, that would bring a lot of people down because no. the price is going to be bad. Like It's going to be steep. And then B, because I thought they'd wait to see what Microf- Microsoft, Microsoft did first. <laughs> Microsoft. Microsoft did first uh, because, you know, PlayStation likes to undercut them. Like even on the PlayStation 4, I believe they took a loss when they started selling the PlayStation 4 yeah. just to beat Microsoft. Because they got slaughtered by Microsoft by having the PlayStation 3 be so expensive. $800. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah, it was like, yeah. I got the 80 gig, which was the, the biggest one you can get. That shit was expensive. Yeah, and I think that that's why they're doing, like, the diskless drive to yes. combat that. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll get into more about the diskless drive later. Um, big expectations in for games, though. You obviously said Silent Hill. Uh, I was praying for an Act 3. Um, sadly, we didn't get to see it. Um, the game I cared about got announced. That so was like, that was your big yeah. Like I, I knew it was going to be, but I didn't I didn't know no until it popped up. So um, you know I was always I'm always secretly playing praying for a, a Bloodborne two. As I said, I think that I still think it's going to happen. I think it's going to yeah, happen two within, years into the PlayStation within the five. A couple years, yeah. I was I was happy because I think at our like um, at, we did like an episode on the PS five and what we were kind of expecting. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that I predicted. That we were going to get one of the launch titles. Oh yeah, you you were correct with one of them. Like, and I was psyched. And the way that they showed off the game, it's a hundred percent done. That uh, game, that game is done. I'm so excited. Um, Ken's like, huh? But <laughs> but other than that, like almost everything that I was expecting them to do, they pretty much did. And I was happy that we got some actual gameplay. Mm. And sorry, two games that I I guessed were were in that. So I just wanted to specify that. Um, and one thing that we were talking about, like I was going back in our, our chat and I think some, uh, gaming magazine back in April had posted like, this is the first look at the new horizon. And then like the, the company like came back and was like, Oh no, no, no. We're just talking about like a horizon comic book tie in. Like sure, it yep. has nothing to do with this. And that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I feel like that was the. I feel like someone got. Fired. I feel like that was the least big surprise out of all of them. I feel like everybody kind of expected that. I'm least. glad they saved it for last, like like the the big last thing. But yeah, it was good. Uh, there was only one other game that I wanted to be announced, and it wasn't. So do you guys want to get started on the list? Yes. Get started on a real high note here. Um, GTA Five. Did you think we were going to possibly get GTA? No, 6? absolutely not. <laughs> how could they? How could they show that off? Like, it, is it free? Did I read it properly that it's free for PS5 on day one? Online is free? Are you... I, that that was... My understanding was GTA Online was going to be free. Yeah, I... Once again, I think that it was not the way to start 
the thing. I felt like they should have started with I think what was their next game or like their two games away, yeah. and then ended with Horizon would have been like the the good start. Like start with a big game, end with a big game. Well, with with GTA, I was expecting it to be maybe even like some DLC or like a Lost in the Damned. Uh, Gal- Ballad of Gay Tony vibe to it. Like I thought that we were going to see some sort of like s- side story, um, mm. and it'd be like a. Sorry, so it's free. The online is free for the first three months. Ooh, and every month up until then, you get a million GTA bucks on your PS4, on your PlayStation Four, if you're playing or GTA PS3, Five. I think. So, <laughs> but that begs me to like question though. So, how with backwards compatibility? Because they never referenced anything with this. No. With backwards compatibility, is it just going to be like, okay, some games you're going to get enhanced, um, some games you're going to have to rebuy? Because like in, in this case, wouldn't it just make sense if I already had a copy and I already had Plus that like I could play online? Like, How is that really like any sort of benefit? Who, who knows, bud? Who knows? I don't know. Yeah. I, I thought it was just a terrible way to do it. And I, I didn't think that we were going to get... GTA 6, but... I what, knew we weren't. When it started with GTA, you're like, I, I hope this is GTA 6 just so it's not yeah. garbage. I was like, why... Like, I, I saw, like, a meme where it's, like, these these seven years, and it shows, like, um, Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, San Andreas, GTA 4, and then it's, like, these seven years, and then it's all just GTA 5 yeah. across three gens. Well, it's the Skyrim problem. They yeah. made so much money off the game, so why not port it to everything? I mean... Even when I, I think I saw a rumor that like uh, a Rockstar game was going to be listed and I was like, OK, maybe it's Red Dead because like having Red Dead be cross generation. You know what? I would be OK with that. Red Dead 2 on a PlayStation 5 like yeah, probably or, would look amazing. Yeah. It could have been like a DLC for Red Dead 2. The game know? looked great on PS4 Pro. Like, yeah. So why not? It looked great on. The- I would almost rather that, to be honest with you. And like, I don't think that I would pick it up again to play through another 60 hour campaign. No. But if they had some sort of DLC or like something that enticed me, I, I might pick it up. Yeah. Like my main issue wasn't that I hate GTA 5 because I like GTA 5. It was just that it was a very boring start. Yeah. Like they they could have definitely hey, started. It, it can only go up. I, I mean, thought it's true. I thought that was a sign that it was going to be bad. Honestly, I was like, they're starting with this, and you think there's so many people though. They're like, oh man, I can't wait to play Grand Theft Auto on my PS5. Yeah, but everybody. But if the game, if the system's backwards compatible, they could have just played it on their PlayStation Five anyways. Who has the PS4 copy is going to go and buy the PS5 copy if it's full price? I don't if know. they do like a ten dollar trade in, sure, like that'd be fine. Who knows? Uh, the next game on the list was the one I thought they should have started with, which was Spider-Man Miles Morales. Uh, yeah. But so, and the confusing, um, the confusing PR around it on the first day. Yeah. Did you ever see the screenshot I was going to send to you? No, probably not. Uh, it was funny. Because I know like you were like, oh, it's just an expansion. And then they're like, no, it's a standalone game. Yeah, I want so it means it's separate, just like Lost Legacy. We're, I'm trying to remember what their press release was on it, but it this was, was the screenshot. So read those two articles; they're a few hours Insomnia apart. Insomniac game confirmed Spider-Man Miles Morales is a standalone PS5 game. Uh, video game chronic: um, Spider-Man Miles Morales is an expansion and enhanced <laughs> of the original. Sony clarified. So they did the, obviously that one's the first one. So they cleared it up a few hours later, being like this, but like it's just right below each other. It's like yeah. So there was some mix, uh, some mixed feedback after it yeah, got announced. I, I was looking at it. Like, I was like, okay, if this is Spider-Man 2, that's insane. I was not expecting them to have that quick of a turnaround. Um, But I think one of the biggest callbacks was, was it during the tech demo for the PlayStation 5? For the load times? Yeah. I was like, okay, they showed this before, so they're obviously, like, somehow working with the game on the PlayStation 5. So I kind of was, I kind of put that together, and I'm like, okay, well, maybe it is a brand new game. But then... It wouldn't really make sense for them to do it that early. It, it's going to be similar to like um, Infamous First Light or Lost Legacy, yeah. I think. But even then, if that's like a if that's a sixty uh, forty nine bucks, yeah, uh, I, I, I hope so. Forty nine. That's what I think Lost Legacy and uh, First Light dropped at. Yeah, because even Lost Legacy, it took me six seven hours to beat. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, a, a lot of it was the name, just because yeah. like that wasn't a very like sequel name. But you is know? it gonna is it gonna be like? Are you going to get like a copy of Spider Man on one disc and then them have it as a side thing? Or you, I mean, that if for like the full price of 79 bucks, it was Spider Man for PlayStation 5 plus the Miles Morales thing and the DLC, yeah, that'd, that'd be different, that'd be better. 
Because like someone who doesn't own Spider Man yet could be like, okay, well instead of me going to spend twenty or thirty dollars on Spider Man, I'll just spend the seventy nine, get this for the PlayStation like, Five, get the DLC and the expansion. Thing. I'll probably get it because any reason to swing around again, I'm like totes going for it. But like, it's frustrating. Depending on though. the price, it's a weird one. How can they how can they price it out that way though for a game that's like made in the PlayStation Four engine, right? Because mm-hmm. obviously they're using the same assets as Spider Man twenty eighteen. Yeah. So it's still gonna be the same city and everything. How are yeah. they how are they not going to allow it to be cross platform? Is that's my question, you know? Like we got as many <laughs> answers but with way more questions. Yeah, like I just I, I don't I don't know what they're gonna do. Like with I it. I can't give anybody in this room a definitive answer on really anything that happened at the Sony conference. Yeah, the cross platform thing is just such an important thing, but it, it wasn't mentioned. That's at the all, one thing so. Microsoft kind of has. They have at least gone out and said what they're back. Like, if you buy it on Xbox One, you can still play it on your. Like I'm just so Series tired X. of like rebuying shit like Final Fantasy IX for every single PlayStation and system 10. I own. Yeah, it's like just. Let me have access to my entire digital library from every PlayStation from my one account that I've had. It's like, it's not that difficult. Yeah. I know you can it's do it. It's kind of concerning that they haven't come out and said it like in a in a state of play or anything highlighting that. I feel like they should have something really soon. Like, I know they just had this conference, but I feel like they should do something really soon to yeah. tell us something. We got a big two hour long demonstration. This is what a sound card does. This is what a processor mm. does. But they can't tell us a yes or no question on how the the uh, backwards compatibility. Because one thing that Microsoft does have going is the fact that they're like, yes, Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, all of these games, well, a fraction of them are backwards compatible. So if you yeah. own them, you don't have to rebuy. Them. Yeah, you know, hope, hopefully PlayStation's keeping quiet just because they want to really surprise us when it's full backwards compatible. That'd be fun. Like, <laughs> like when they started showing the graphics of like all the different PlayStation stuff. Yeah. And then they showed like the old. I like got the very beginning. Yeah. They showed like the old Sony logo and stuff. I was like, oh my God, what happens if they're like PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, oh, PlayStation 4? I would be so happy because then I could get rid of all of my <laughs> systems and just have a PS5. Yeah. You think that if the, if you think of that, if the PlayStation 5 had the option to be backwards compatible they would have mentioned it though because like yeah why wouldn't they, they said there already... is backwards compatibility but like they haven't said what yeah if anything it'll be for like a select amount of playstation 4 They'll games be like oh if you subscribe to playstation now all of the yeah, games well, on PlayStation i want to get into now. playstation now later too with the yeah. whole digital only edition and there are some questions about that <laughs> yeah um but yeah spider-man looked good miles morales especially after especially up, into the spider-verse you know miles morales is on an all-time high he's cool i like miles so people really want to play him um, i was confused because the beginning it was the talking while i was showing him but that yeah. was not him because that was definitely yeah that was your very low in thought yeah, and I was so it's like, it's old spider-man saying to yeah, the new spider-man was, yeah I'm surprised that it, it's not like a co-op game. Yeah. If it's it, online co-op, like the next one with like two people playing Spider-Man. I, I was also, I was surprised how little they showed. I think there is, is a rumor that that actually is oh, what's f- going to happen. Sign that would, me fucking that would be up. cool. Um, but like I, the game's a holiday 2020 game and that's not that far away. And it's one of their big ones. And they literally only showed a very small cinematic of yeah. just like him in the suit, right? Like. I mean, they could even build it towards Marvel Spider-Man 2 being like you get to control Plays both characters. Both. That'd be sick. Sounds awesome. In like a GTA kind of way where you like switch perspectives or something. And then give me, give me Spider-Ham and like uh, give me all that yeah, shit. Yeah, and Mary Jane, you know? I want to swap over her and, and play. Sure. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. I'll get that. But yeah, my, my main thing is I still think they should have started with Spider-Man. A launch or no? Um, if it's priced at four... Like I need to know how long the game is. If it's like... If it's a twelve-hour experience for forty-nine, I won't buy it. If it's like a twelve-hour experience for like thirty bucks, then yeah. It's Are you asking if we'll buy it at launch or if it's going to be a launch? If title? it's a launch title, yeah, yeah. Yes, I think it'll be a launch title. They need something like that. I feel like it won't. No, no. It maybe by like a week. Well, it's because like, it's, it's going to be like a week later. It's holiday twenty twenty, and we're uh, all of our guesses were in November as far as the PlayStation Five goes. Yeah, uh, which is holiday twenty twenty. It is. It is holiday twenty twenty. What do you think is the launch title game? We got. We, uh, we we'll get to it. Get I to could, it I could, to if it? Me and Phil, hundred percent. Okay, know. so the next game was probably the best game they announced, and that was Gran Turismo Seven. Um, I'm not a race <laughs> man. I don't like my racing games, but if I was, that's a very pretty game. It looked the exact same to me as any racing game I've seen for like PlayStation Four, Xbox. Though I don't know. No, well, I it, wouldn't go that far. Like I would say that it looks amazing, 
But it, it takes like a certain kind of gamer to be interested in it. And I think a lot of them are on Xbox right yeah. now. Like I, like I said, when my dad watched that part, because he was babysitting uh, my kid, um, he was blown away at the visuals. And like he's a car nut. So Just like he told me level. he told me the exact car that popped up. You're like, oh, that's a really nice blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's a really like that's a 2000 blah, blah, blah. And he, he knew every single car that popped up and everything like that. Yeah, and he's the, like, that looks legit. And then it opened up and showed the inside of the vehicle. And he's like, that looks the, like real he, life. he's like, is that you're telling me this isn't a real life like car that they video? I'm like, no, someone digitally made that. That's a fake car. Yeah. The racing sim games. I like even like the gameplay, though. It's like because it's so realistic. It's not actually that exciting. It's like the slight turns in the corners yeah, you, and stuff. You see that dotted I'm line thinking and like GTA it? or like Saints Row racing where I'm like flipping over shit and stuff. So. Burnout, man. Burnout revenge. Yeah. Swapping Imagine over that. when they make that game VR compatible. I thought that game... It is VR compatible, I'm pretty sure, with the PS4 VR one. Like, yeah. the, not that game, but Sport, I'm pretty sure, is VR. Yeah. There was a game on this list that looked like it could have been an entirely VR game. We'll get, uh, we'll yeah, get to that. It could be. Do you guys have anything else to say about Gran Turismo 7? Uh, for it's them. not for me, is but... Is it a launch title? Um, honestly, no. I don't even remember when they said it was coming out. I think so. it'll come out within the first three months. Yeah. Uh, but they all... Are, isn't Gran Turismo notorious for always pushing shit back? Yes. They're like, it's coming. Gran Turismo 6 was supposed to come out, I'm pretty sure, a year before it did, or after it did. Good. Uh, so the next game is a big one. The next game is the Ratchet and Clank uh, Rift Apart. Cool. That's the launch title. <laughs> yeah. That game yeah. is done. That is the Knack 3 that we were all missing. Yeah. That's the tech demo because they're showing the SSD the, loading all the worlds oh and everything God. like that. So that's 100% A, done, and B, their tech demo game. Cam can attest for this. I was so fucking happy. When it came on, I was like, I was sad because I I felt like if we were getting Ratchet and Clank, then the chances of Knack Three were just you don't even want to play Super Knack. He, he's just doing it for the meme. <laughs> um, but uh, visually, that game a looks pretty, and I like that even the guy playing it wasn't playing the best he could. Like it looked like he, somebody was genuinely playing the game. Yeah, it wasn't like oh Roger Six, we got a cool drop on this item <laughs> and like nothing. That? I fucking hate those videos. Hey man, I How? just got some sick loot here. Would you like some of that? Oh, uh, enemy oh. on our on our six. <laughs> I have played many online shooters with you. I don't think I've ever <laughs> said there's an enemy Sup, on your cuck? six. Look to your right. <laughs> exactly, that's more likely. The cam always tries to say that he's watching someone's six. Every he time, does say that. Every time Phil's walking, I'm like, Phil, I got your six, man. I got your six. And then I get killed. <laughs> um, no, but I the way that it showed the like load in to the new areas and like the rifts yep i was like well this is uh, a tech demo for the ssd that yep. shit looks fucking crazy yep like and it's loading shit in and i'm like man i this generation we didn't get a new ratchet and clank game we did get like the ratchet and clank game we got the game based off the movie, the movie based that was off based the off the game yeah, yes this was based off the which movie. i don't know if based you guys know this but like ratchet and clank i like the game i beat it three times like, I've played every Ratchet and Clank game. Mm. I beat every Ratchet and Clank game. But Purist fucking hated it. Really? They thought oh. that it was garbage. Yeah. Oh. I, I was more of a Sly Cooper guy, like, with the, the PS2 and everything like that. But uh, I did enjoy some of the Ratchet and Clank games. I just like the gunplay. And I would always do the New Game Plus because you could, like, bring your guns over. And all of the guns were just super cool. Yeah. It, it's just, I, I remember I was never a Ratchet and Clank guy. Not that I dislike it. I just never played them because I didn't mm -hmm. have PlayStations. But while we're watching it, all of my like stupid guesses feels like no, that's already been a game. Like I'm like, oh man, this is gonna be a Clank only game. He's like, no, that's that's happened. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and I'm like, Clank in time. I think I'm it was like, called. And I'm like, yeah. oh my god, are Ratchet and Clank gonna get separated? Feels like that happens every single game. <laughs> <laughs> the the only thing I'm sad is the name isn't as punny as they used to be. No, they were always known for being really edgy with their RPR names. Arsenal. RPR Arsenal, Going Commando, a rift of fart. Yeah, like. But what's crazy is is like. They do not get the credit that they deserve because the trilogy, I think there's four games on um, PlayStation 3. Yeah, there's, oh, on PS3, yeah, there's uh, a crack in time. Crack in time. Um, I'm just all for one. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it all for one. There's that the shit, one. Yeah, the shitty four player one. Um, there's, there, there's a side game I'm trying to remember with like a purple cover into the Nexus. Yeah, they all had fucking weird names. Um, let's see. History. Games. You can continue. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to remember all their names. But what about, what about Female Ratchet, though? That was dumb. Um, <laughs> but I'm interested because uh, this is... Tools of Destruction, um, Quest of 
for booty. Yeah, that was like a PSP game, yeah. but you uh, could get it when... Uh, a crack in time into the Nexus. Yeah, with Into the Nexus, that was like a budget title. It was really short, um, but you actually got a, a copy of Quest for Booty. And then at one point in the trailer, it's, it shows them like on a pirate ship and you're like, oh my God, are they going to do, are they going to do a pirate game? I'm like, they've already done that. <laughs> they, uh, I don't know. I'm just, a lot, apparently. I am super fucking psyched for it just because we didn't get like an original game. And I feel like they always do a trilogy, like mm-hmm. at least. Um, so I'm, I'm happy. And that's obviously why they didn't do one on PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, because they've probably just been like, okay, we're going to make this a lot. They probably battle. found out about the SSD, and they're like, hey, you're in charge of making the tech demo. They're like, okay. So if that comes out launch, I would 100% buy it. I'm almost tempted to say it's a bundled title. They actually, they announced that one game on here is a bundled title. I'm, I'm putting money on it that that's probably that title. Well, it, it's, uh, we got to go. We got to go to it. Okay. Oh, it, it is confirmed what it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. But it's like a side game. I don't know oh. if they'll do another one. But Okay. So the next game is actually one of the one of my two favorite ones that were shown, which was Project Athea or Athea or however you want to oh, pronounce the, it. The, the Square Enix, Square Enix, Square Enix yeah. one, yeah. Some people thought it was a secret Final Fantasy 16 because that's obviously a working title. So no, this one was actually... Do you remember that I showed you the tech demo that they used like a couple years ago and there was like the girl, um, she drank like a can of Coke pretty much and mm-hmm. then like healed herself? And it's the same engine that they used for that like yeah there, there were rumors after a show that people were like oh this is like final fantasy 16 they're just like keeping this secret because it's no. it's very clearly like a working title like that's not gonna actually yeah, be that it name. has a project name so. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's actually just called project athea no could be it, it'll probably be called athea if that's the case maybe but it looked good i mean once again they didn't show very much at all it was just showing a girl jumping on like a, a rock and it looked cool the dragon was spooky yeah, the dragon was spooky. It was a nice looking the dragon. The dog was pretty spooky at the beginning too. It, like, felt, it was pretty spooky. It felt like there was a lot of games that were like magical. Like, like yeah, I, one of my well, we'll go over it. But there was a game that I think I like a hundred percent want. It's probably the same game. That yeah, it's probably the game I thought was the best one that was shown. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm assuming it will be. Yeah, we'll see. Because it's very Breath of the Wild. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then yes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I don't know. They, there's not much to say on that game because they showed so little. Yeah. Um, you know, like probably a working title showed like Some branches 30 seconds of going stuff. over yeah. someone. Else. Yeah, like the, you, we have no idea what the cool. hell it's about. There's a dragon in it. It's always you, weird. You play a, f- a Famal? As far as we know. It's true. That is true. Yeah. You never know. You, yeah. you never know. So that one looked cool. That Obviously, one's probably coming 2022. Uh, oh, yeah, that's uh, probably a, 2023. That's but. probably a far off one because it is also Square Enix. So yeah. you never know. They're like, hey, we got to finish Final Fantasy VII Part Two. Uh, next on the list uh, was Stray. That, that game was, looks fucking awesome. That's Dan's favorite game that was showed. <laughs> yeah, wasn't actually, but. I'm just kind of interested because when we were watching it, I was like, I feel like I've seen this before. It's an older game. It, it, it was announced a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, like look really familiar, like the robots and stuff. And then I think Cam was like, I bet you play as the cat. <laughs> and I'm like... Yeah, it's a, you play as a cute cat with a backpack. Maybe. Yeah, and, uh, it just like starts off with like rip humans written on the wall. And yep. Yeah, once again, no idea what the hell it's about. There's a cat. There's some robots. He meows. There's no she. humans. Yeah, the cat has like a backpack with like a face on it or yep. some shit. Watch I, cat. It's it's hard to say. <laughs> it's hard to say what it's about, but I don't think they... Did they give off a time for that one? Nope. Probably not at Who all. Who is the developer of that? I don't remember. Okay. It was actually me. Oh, okay. Uh, the mean. next game was Returnal, which is still kind of a silly Is that name. the third person space shooter? Yeah. Yes. So it's a third person roguelike game. So every time you die, the, yeah. so they don't do these third person very much. Usually no. it's a top down or yeah. like. Do you think that's the only death loop game in the on the list? I think so. <laughs> um, but honestly, if I see more into it, that's one that I might pick up. It looks pretty cool. It looked like dead spacey. Yeah. What was interesting was I think I had I had seen a rumor that one of the writers from Dead Space oh well had okay. actually came out and said you keep an eye out tomorrow for something related and people were like is it gonna be a Dead Space trilogy but no because the guy doesn't work at EA anymore oh, okay but is that game done by EA like no. is it no okay no. so I'm assuming that he has something to do yeah. with yeah okay. Uh, I'm interested. I another cool thing about the entire presentation was the amount of horror games. Yeah, they're but yes. I was like, this is cool because it's like an original horror game. The world looks interesting. But then when they're like, and every time you die, it's different. I'm like, it's really hard to like get good quality with that. 
But I mean, to be fair, you could say that like any game could take that kind of method with the fact it's a video game and you do die and constantly come yeah. back. It really, it's like Games the same thing happened like yeah. a Dark Souls. Dark Souls to be like, yeah, it's like I think that is in Dark Souls and like the is in Bloodborne. It's like the hunters you come back every single time. I feel like that's part of the lore mm, of one of the Dark blank. Souls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, if it's built into the story or something, like, if there's certain points where you die and then the story takes a certain direction based on that, that's one thing. But if it's, like, procedurally generated, like, different enemies in, like, different rooms and you have, like, a one in eight chance of getting into this room or something stupid like that, then I'm not on board. I feel like it's going to be a very story-focused game, so I yeah. feel like you're still going to play in a pretty linear path. Like, I have a feeling it's not going to branch out that much. I hope so. Especially. I think it's honestly Rogue... Okay, here's my bet. This is... this is uh, What's the game called again? Uh, Returnal. Returnal. Um, it's all fun. in her That's head. Nice. That's stupid It's name. all in her head, and she's just tripping out going to these different places. What if it's, it, like, seriously linked to, like, aliens or something? I'm okay. A lot of... Like, I think it's very Prometheus. Yeah. That's what I said, like, like the, the visual. So, like, yeah, what if yeah. it's, like, it's secretly going to be, like, a new alien and she's, game? Uh, is that the one where she's heterochromatic? Like, she's got... Uh, the two different eyes. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think it's kind of their answer to Hellblade. Uh, yeah. In a way, because Microsoft, yeah, it owns that shit now, so <laughs> they got to do something. But yeah. The worst part about that game was just the title, because it's kind of dumb. There's a lot of really dumb <laughs> names. <laughs> I, I that was. I don't think that's a working title. Someone's like, wait a minute, Eternal and Return. Hey, <laughs> to be fair, Revengeance is the coolest <laughs> video game name out there, and it's the dumbest whatever. I guess. I don't know why. That one sounds better than Return. Revengeance. A cool, once again, looked very horror When are we getting that? Uh, what, uh, Metal Gear Red Revengeance? No. no. Oh, Returnal. I was Returnal. Say, I, Metal Gear a, Returnal. A, any HD master of uh, Revengeance, sign me up. That I think Return will be dope. late 2021. Yeah. Yeah. Mid to late 2021. Be October 2021. Oh, October spooky month. Uh, next game, uh, Destruction All Stars. Um, I thought it, we were going to get a Twisted Metal. Uh, it's basically Twisted Metal. It's Twisted Metal meets Rocket League. Yeah, it's like um, they want like a new Rocket League game, right? So the 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 little robot girl with like doing peace symbols. She was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, it was very hip hop inspired. Yeah. Like lots of lots of cool hip hop poses and stuff Strange, like that. It's like a demolition derby game, but you also can like you're you can leave the car and then like commandeer other well, people's cars. I think the purpose is to get them out of the car and then run them over with your car. It's yeah. like a two life system, but yeah. I think that game will be a launch. That game could be launch. Like it's kinda like their motorsport. Like they usually have like the motorsport game yeah. around launch. I'm, some sort I'm of okay launch. with that. Like honestly, I if it was with it, I'd play it. Because yeah. it does look like I could have fun with it. But it's not something to be like, oh, you know what? I'm going to go spend 79 on a crashy bang boom game. Yeah, no. That's if, probably... it was, if it was like a PlayStation Plus game, you know, like if they're like early on, like yeah. PlayStation Plus, you can play this game online with your friends for free. Like, Imagine if they did that. That'd be insane. I'd that'd be, see, like I'd good. play it. That'd be fun. Yeah. You'd be like, hey, I got this PlayStation 5, probably with very few games, assuming on like launch, launch day. Yeah. Like it's a very Overwatchy meets uh, like Rocket League meets. Uh, I'm like, sure it's fun to hit people with cars. Yeah. Hey, I like Burnout. That shit's fun. Um, the next game um, was, in my opinion, oh, the best game that was shown, was gonna be a troll. which was Kenna Bridge of Spirits. No, no it wasn't. Oh, I, it's a legit I mean, one. So I saw it, and I'm like, okay, this is very Zelda. And then I watched more, and I'm like, okay, this is very Pikmin. The the first thing that grabbed me is actually the art style, because it reminded me a lot of Big Hero 6. It does, yeah. The, 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 character the, the rounded... Big, yeah, and then the things were very cute, obviously. They were so adorable. Uh, and then when it got into like the gameplay stuff, the I didn't even really care about that stuff. It did look kind of Breath of the Wild when she had like, the bow and stuff like that. Yep. But the environments just look really good. Like, very bright, very vibrant. There's uh, lots of greens, lots of colors. I'd pick, I'm picking that up. Do you guys remember the Sorcerer? I do. What happens if it's like the Sorcerer? <laughs> I, this game, I, I felt like you can always just feel like this. That this is like the answer to like Breath of the Wild kind of. It thing. reminds me more of Cameo. Yeah, yeah. like for the 360, absolutely. like uh, it being they're like ooh magical video game. I mean, Phil is right. There is a lot of magical games on this yeah. list. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. This is probably their like Breath of the Wild answer because you know. I honestly, if that's the day, if that's a launch title or something like that. No, no, no. They'll wait till whatever time Breath of the Wild 2 is announced. Yeah, okay, yeah. They, they, they know damn right not to compete with that. <laughs> they would just, that would be a crucifixion. It'd be the over, <laughs> Overwatch and Battleborn problem. Yeah, we're all getting Battleborn. <laughs> Fucking Overwatch, get out of here. They but shut yeah. down the servers on that, eh? I think Battleborn's done, done. No! Yeah, what about I, Paladin? What, is Paladin still I think alive? it's also done. Oh, no. But I don't know, yeah. this I like the visuals of it. It looked really good. Very colorful. Yeah. I, it's not... I don't think it's for me, honestly. I will I will watch someone play it and then make that decision. Yeah. But for me, 
I'm I just wasn't one like, of the reasons it away. stuck out so much though is because so many games on this list are dark. Yeah, it's, it's very bright. fun and bright yeah, and colorful. So we already talked about the amount of horror games, but just in general, when you look at stuff like Stray, it was really dark themed. Yep. Eternal, dark. Yep. Yeah, uh, there's like the, as I go through, who are like Ratchet and Clank, really dark. Yes. <laughs> A lot of these games are just like, even if not just like, you know, it's horror, there's a lot of dark themes going yeah. on or like, and then this game is just like fucking bright magic, you know. Were there any um like uh, demon style games? There were no demon style mm, games, okay. no worlds that were odd, nothing okay. like that. Oh. Um, so finally, I was just kidding when I said Kenna, here's what Phil was waiting for, that Kenna was my favorite game. My yeah. actual favorite game was Goodbye Volcano High. Um. So do you guys know... Um. Oh shit! The furry community? No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> They're actually called scalies if they like. How lizards. much? How much? Rule thirty four. Night, of... Night in the Woods. Have you guys ever heard of Night in the yep. Woods? That game is fantastic, and this just looks like a bad version of that game. I, <laughs> I should actually buy that. That game's on sale. That's right one now of Jess's favorite. Games. Maybe the game isn't going to be bad, but like the trailer wasn't for me at all. And then uh, we talked about this in our chat the one day that I watched the the completionist PlayStation Five video. Okay, what type of game is it though? Who knows? Is it a point As I click? said, I thought it was going to be a dinosaur life is strange. That's how I thought it was going to be. Oh, okay. yeah. I, I, I actually watched The Completionist, too, and he's like, the game looks amazing. Yeah, I'm it, like, he said, so he said, A, he's like, he didn't like the, the trailers that mixed gameplay and cinematics. And I'm like, that, that's all I ever want. I want. I don't want just cinematics. I don't want cinematics at all. Give me just gameplay. And, but then he's like, so this game is like, no, I really liked this one, this trailer because there was no gameplay. I'm just seeing exactly what they want <laughs> me to you. see. It's, was I'm he like, paid to say that? I hope he was, honestly, but like, I have a feeling he was. Was it called a Goodbye Volcano High? Yeah, and I normally really agree with him when I watch stuff, but I was like, ah, I gotta disagree with you on this one, dog, because yeah, I'm man. not excited for Goodbye Volcano High. Volcano! Because that could easily just be like a straight-up anime. I don't... There's no appeal for me to play that as a game. What if it secretly is? What if it's like a rent day one on PlayStation 5, <laughs> and it's like a PlayStation original show? That's fucking The terrible. genre it is listed under is narrative adventure. Yeah, it's gonna be a... It's gonna be like a point it's, point. It's, yeah. it's the night in the woods, but bad. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry to the people who make this game, but it just it well, stuck out as honestly the worst looking one. What I'm if, sorry. What if it's like a 10 out of 10 game, Birch? And like we we go back and like look at this and we're like, man, that's how, my game of the how year. How wrong were we? Well, I'm going to say right now, visually, it does not appeal to me at all. Yeah, it was, I'm fine with all sorts of types of games. Yeah, Indie games, I don't give a shit. Like I'll play anything. I just don't like the dinosaur people. It was like my least favorite game that was shown, and then there was one that was close, and then after that, it was all okay. Yeah. Like, there are games where I'm like, I won't play that because it's not me, like sports games, but then there's games like, I won't play that because that's just fucking, like, I just don't get it. it oh, great. I know exactly but what the, you're But the about scaly there. community, though, was really popping off on this one, I imagine. Did you, okay, this is off topic, but did, uh, um, the, did you guys see the new XCOM game? No, no, no. The Phoenix, Phoenix Rising, or something like that. It's called. Wait, is this the XCOM Two DLC? I don't think it's DLC. I think XCOM it's a separate game. It but um, it basically, Fuck. you you have a couple aliens on your team this time, and you have one of those hot snake ladies. Um, and uh, like the entire internet's obviously going nuts over the snake Bunch lady. Of scalies. Um, yep. Yeah. And the person who drew the snake person went out on Twitter, and he's like, "I don't see why, like." I don't get why people are like super hot over this thing, and everyone's like bullshit. You drew a hot snake yeah, lady because you, it, you, you wanted a hot pervert. snake lady. Yeah. Fucking pervert. I wouldn't buy that for a fucking second. Nice I'm, try, guy. I'll see if I can find them. I'm gonna draw like an eight huge tittied alien monster. Be like, you guys find this attractive? This is just a doodle. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted them for the lore, uh, but yeah, obviously did not care for that at all. The trailer had me confused and wanting to die. Um, When's that gonna come out? <laughs> hopefully never. <laughs> I imagine, yeah. Never give, never give snakes boobs. Yeah, um, that's just, it looks like Jar Jar Banks. <laughs> I imagine that's going to come out. Like, I mean, how hard can that? It's game a 2021, the yeah. volcano high thing. Yeah. Is on Some that. time. I'm saying summer, June 2021. June 2021. One year for when it was announced. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, next on the list, I'm sure some people out there are excited. Uh, Odd World Soul Storm. Uh, I have never played one of those games. I just I've like, never met anyone who has. The uh, the aesthetics of it just disgust me <laughs> i thought like i remember them being i swear to god i remember them being like mountain dew commercials am i crazy no <laughs> i get i don't remember it but i can see, see it yeah, yeah but i feel like i mean i'm like, just gonna google like, i'm gonna google odd I world feel like dew. odd world yeah nothing against the game like i'm sure the game and the director who makes them i've heard he's an asshole the gameplay could be fun or anything like that but yeah the the aesthetic, it doesn't even look like a next gen game the aesthetic design just do. disgusts me each time like yeah. uh, he he made the um, 
the Oddworld game that was on the, the Wii U and like it didn't sell well. And then he's like, oh, it's the Wii U's fault. It didn't sell well. The game was just bad. <laughs> I don't yeah, see any. Uh, also, as I said, I've never sat down with someone and they're like, "Man, you play the new Odd World game?" <laughs> yeah, um, I can say honestly, no. What if I that's a launch title? Uh, it probably will not. Yeah, it looks like it should be a this generation game. Probably. Yeah, if it probably was going to be. Yeah. And they're like, and then with everything with COVID, they're like, let's just make it a PS5 game. Who knows? But honestly, that is a straight up no from this guy. Yeah. yeah the next game on the list is a little bit more, a little more of a debate, a little more controversial. Um, which was the Ghostwire Tokyo. Uh, I learned this while watching the completionist video that the cute Asian girl... She doesn't work there liked, anymore. She does not work there. She left. The girl who went on stage at E3 and was like super kawaii. She's like, oh, so kawaii. Loved her. Hello. Yeah, uh, she yeah, doesn't she, work there she anymore. That's there, a shame. So no one cares anymore. I knew about that a while ago, actually. But um, I, I was like, oh, this is a VR it game. It looks super VR. It looks VR. The hands. But um, so it looks... And it also looked like it's... It's like super hot fire, like the visual style, but... Um, it's mixing Junji Ito, like, spooky ghost shit. Yeah. So de- It looked Japanese. It is Japanese. <laughs> um, A lot it, of headless girls. It looks weird. It I, I would have to play it to say if I like it or not. Yeah, I just, like, I imagine, like, yeah, whenever I'm fighting something, I'm like, yeah, that could be fun. I'm just sitting there, like, yeah, busting let, at the hands. Let me so, karate chop so, like, ghosts and, like, shoot What's like blasts? What's, like, going around the overworld like? Blasts? Do you ride a motorcycle? I'm assuming you ride a motorcycle at some Pro- point. Probably. I just, I can't imagine, like, the rest of the game. I can imagine, like, the one-on-one fighting a sc- spooky ghost girl, but I yeah. can't see the rest of the game. I don't know what it's like. If uh, it's a VR game, I think that corridor. It'll, it'll corridors. be really good. It'll just yeah. be corridors. That's true. Yeah. Well, I think it'll be really good. Like, I would play that in VR. Yeah, me too. If it's not, though... I think it's going to be utter trash. Um, I don't think it's going to be utter trash. I, I, I think it has a chance because it's the people who make um, the, the Evil Within. Okay. And they, they literally stopped making the Evil Within 2, and then they started making this game. So, like, it has it has a, a chance. Someone at the company needs to be fired if they thought that that trailer would hype anyone up. Uh, the original trailer hyped me the fuck up, like with yeah. the like samurai guy the, with the sword, the and then one that looked like Hawkeye or whatever. Yeah, he did look like Ronan. You're right, yeah. but then that game looked fucking sick, and visually, it's a little different, but it's a CG thing. So like, at least they showed to us. To be gameplay. fair, I also really liked the um, first trailer for Cyberpunk, uh, and then every other trailer since then actually made me want to play it less. Oh really? Yeah, because it looks too like campy and funny and that kind of stuff. The first one looked like in like insane. I just want to. I just want to so customize my balls. That's, I just that's like, all I want to do. The one where do. like they're like shooting the crazy robot lady and she's yeah. like slashing everything. And it's playing that really cool song. That yeah, I that was like have. epic. I'm like, man, this is a serious game. All the other ones, I'm like, ah, like it's just trying to be like goofy and I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I have no idea about that game. Still, I'll probably still play it, but it's not. I'm not, I'm probably not going to get Cyberpunk Day One. I probably am. I know where Who even knows when right Day now, One is really. Uh, September. That's what they say. Yeah. Um, the next game. Uh, Jet, the far. I think it was Jet, the far shore. It was like the 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 planey one. It could have been Jet. F- it the the text was very strange. What game is this? Jet. I don't remember this. It was like a planey one because no one cares. I vaguely remember it, but Five. I was like, I don't give a fuck. Jet. Two two T's. Yeah. See, Jet, Jet the, the far, far shore. shore. Oh, oh, with like the they had the people with like the big hats and shit like that. Sure. Yeah. I, I, I don't I, remember at all. We just can, watched it. Can I see like an image? Um, you walk. In, yes, yeah, yeah. They have yeah. The you walk cats. out of the big uh, the house. Yeah, I don't care. Um, I need to know more. But That's see, all look at that and tell me that couldn't be an F at the end. Uh, Jeff, it has a sticky part for an F. Yep. Yeah. No. Um, it's one that like piqued my interest, but I don't. I'm not gonna buy it day I, one I, until I, I know more about. Yeah, it. it's it's way too vague. Yeah. There's no information at all. There was no gameplay. I wouldn't even really classify that there was a cinematic. There no, was just it's just it stuff. was like this, and then it was like title and even the title was confusing yeah so i don't know i don't care launch game um <laughs> it could be the next game was godfall godfall that game looks okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> that game looks okay uh, <laughs> um it it's like a third person brawler style game i mean with the three characters it looks feel, very, like the art style looked a lot like you know like garo like the yeah, the anime yeah. stuff yeah it looked like that um the only thing that it, so do you remember that the xbox was like hey we've got um, uh, Halo Infinite coming out, and then this was PlayStation's game that they announced that this is a PlayStation exclusive. Yeah. Um. So it just like, 
it already is kind of up against the wall. The fighting being, looks fun, but what about the rest of it? What do you? Is do? it multiplayer? Yeah. It, like, because there's three characters. Is it three players online? You just go to town and shit. So, like, my like, same issue with like half the games on the list. It's not that I thought it looked bad or we good. We just don't have enough. We just have no idea really about it. The yeah. opinion on it. But I guess this was for the most part pretty. It's just showing off the game, so it's pretty vague, anyways. Yeah. I, I had more hype for it than when we saw like that little glimpse at the video game awards. Yeah, this this was definitely had a little more promise because I actually got to see combat. And it looks fun. Uh, it's very platinum esque, but um, yeah, if you were if you were playing like multiplayer with that and you're fighting other people, that looks like it could be interesting. Yeah, like either fighting other people or fighting with other people. Yeah, cool. it looked like complex. Yeah. Uh, the next game, once again, very little about it. I'm sure it looks cool. Solar Ash, person's uh, like running and then yeah, oh, so like, that's my some, hyperlife yeah, the hyperlight drifter. drifter. Um, a that's a dope fucking name. Solar Ash is cool as hell. Yeah, I thought it was um, cool. Visually, it reminded me of, obviously, Hyperlight Drifter, but it reminded me of Fury and Journey. Uh, and Journey. Yeah, I got some Journey vibes yeah, from the, 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 the waviness uh, reminded me a lot but of... Yeah, same uh, thing. It was just the character ran a little bit, and then the screen tilted, and then it was yeah. like, Solar Ash. Yeah. <laughs> like, no information again, but at least knowing... I think, it, I think that'll be good. Knowing the other games that they make, and if you like them, at least that you can have a better idea yeah. than some of the other ones we've seen Hyperlight so far. Hyperlight Drifter is great. Do you think that Sony will actually focus more on indie titles like seeing the success because i think they'll pretend to like all three of them i would say like microsoft has always been super into indie titles Mm -hmm. and then nintendo seeing success with it but it never seems like sony actually like really cares that much yeah they definitely want those triple a's like those bangers like uh there's very few that they they really want to focus on indies like i said we might see a change nintendo like you said has been doing amazing with indies like i have more indies on my switch than i do like official yeah like, playstation AAAs. just doesn't advertise them no they just like you might go on the playstation network and like see a game be like oh then maybe i'll pick up this kind of thing because you like, could get like hollow knight or the messenger on ps4 but like why would you not get it on switch yeah i mean that's the question do you yeah. think any of the games that were shown are going to come out on switch um no none oh maybe, maybe solar the, the solar ash now and now that i think about it yeah and maybe volcano high <laughs> i'm sure that one if, it, if it's like a point and click why would it not come out on something with a touch screen so yeah. the next one uh it pissed me off at one part i'm sure you're either a fan or you're not which is hitman 3 um good for it the yeah. the part that pissed me off is it showed like a, a short cinematic and then it's like and now time to see some gameplay. And then it showed a short cinematic after it said that. It was like, time to see some gameplay from the from yeah. on top of the clouds in Dubai. And then it was like, just like was the short little part that it was done. I was like, that wasn't fucking gameplay. Don't yeah. lie to me. It, well, it was in game is probably what they meant. <laughs> but um, I haven't played Hitman 1 or 2. I've heard amazing things from them. Um, I know uh, a buddy of mine, like it's one of his favorite PS4 games is the first Hitman game. And he says it's fantastic. But it's not for me. I do like Dubai. Dubai's cool. It reminds me of Ghost Protocol. I've played and beaten Absolution and Blood Money. but Blood Money was good. I did play that one. I uh, I remember... I don't know if it was Hitman 1 that did it as well, but I remember Hitman 2 for sure doing it. How it was episodic. Yep. They, they both... I'm pretty sure they both did yeah. it that way. When they did that, I was like, okay, I'm just going to wait for all the episodes to come out. And then like all the episodes came out, and I was like... Yeah, I'll get to this someday. Yeah. And then I just never got to Honestly, it. Honestly, if they go on sale, I might pick them up. Because yeah. like I said, I've heard amazing things. My main issue is that I can't really get behind the story of like the main character. Um, yeah. Because he is bald. And, you know, I, I'm just a hair guy. So like I was hoping he came back in this one with like... He actually wears wigs sometimes. <laughs> yeah, Michael, he does wear wigs sometimes. Oh, well, then maybe I'll play. I want him to come back with like some Michael Bolton beach hair, you know? <laughs> yeah, because that's believable. Angry man with like just... Luscious it's quarantine. Dogs. I'm sure Agent 47 or whatever his name is had to grow his hair out his too. His name is Agent 47. You look at that. Yeah. Next on the list. <gasps> Wait, are you guys launch title? Is that a launch title? No. no. Okay. Uh, they said it's I'm pretty I can sure February. Almost guarantee you the next game on the list will be a launch title. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Which one? Uh, Astro's Playroom. That's, yeah, it is. <laughs> that's the one that is going to come pre-installed oh. on every PlayStation. Yeah, oh, okay. but that, that was the same thing that with the PlayStation yeah, 4. They did the, the the same thing with the, it. The it does look adorable. I'm not gonna lie. I'll play it. I won't like love it. But I'll play it. I'll play it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's just there once again to like. I'm, the last one was showing you how to use like the touchpad, and there was like a bunch of little mini games yep. with like the six apps. It's the Wii Sports for the yeah. system. I don't really get why. It's what one two switch should have been on the switch. It should have been. I don't get why they didn't uh, just use Sackboy for that. Because they already have this. License. Whoa! Spoiler, sir. But like, 
I don't really know why Astrobot is is used as. I a, just realized that's the only game I don't have on this list. What? I don't have the Sackboy game on. Yeah, here. I don't know what I was. I thought it was announced already. But it probably was. This is the only game I don't have on the list. Uh, for some that reason. name is awful. Sackboy, what like Adventure World or something like Maybe. that. It's just Yo- it's just Yoshi's Woolly World. It is just Yoshi's Woolly World. PlayStation's like, wait a minute, we have a woolly cute thing. They should have just called it Little Big Planet Adventures. Yeah. Why Sackboy? They want to rebrand. I, I think that Little Big Planet. I don't know if the branding for that actually did that well. It uh, wasn't massive. They had a kart racer. They had the kart three racer games. was pretty fun. I liked it. You couldn't play multiplayer though. You it was, it was one player. Yep. That's oh, what it should be. I liked Mod Nation Racers better. Meg awesome. loves Little Big Planet. Um, so, so is that going to be a day one purchase? Probably for her. Yeah. Sackboy probably will be a launch title. Um, It'll be like the. Next. It won't be a launch I don't title. Think so. uh, they already have Ratchet. Like they probably don't want too much kid shit right off that hop. What are you trying to say? That game's for kids. No, <laughs> it's not. Um, the next game was was also kind of confusing. There's one of these that is a 100% surely not a launch title. Um, I, I feel like there's like a lot of these that are no, not. No, there's one that I can tell you is I think, a long time I think time other away. than the, not the game I'm about to say, but the next one, I think every other one will not be a launch title. The yeah. next one is Little Devil Inside. Um, that game looks cute. It does. It looks interesting. So it's been really around like for a while. Style. I like it. The The idea is that it's like a college professor sends one of his students to like hunt monsters and bring it back. Yep. Shit. Interesting. The trailer was funny. They made know? a poop joke, so I'm not they okay did make with a that. Poop but joke, like, but it was like a cute, it was like a bomb dropping to like a, a, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the combat looks okay. Like I, if it's cheap, I'll buy it like any more than 39 bucks. I'm not buying it. Yeah. I don't know. It looked interesting. Uh, the art, I didn't mind the art style. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but yeah, like the monster hunting stuff was kind of cool. I know they're already in trouble because like they showed off like a person wearing a mask with like a, a spear, and then they're uh, they're changing that character due to cultural insensitivity. Oh yes, I did see that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so man. like it's not even out yet, and they saw one frame of it, and they're already like, nope, yep. you take that away now. Yeah, pretty much. So like, it, that's that's the only news I've heard of it since it came out. So the next game is going to be the last one I say is for sure a launch title. Yeah, uh, which is NBA Two K Twenty One. Yeah, it'll actually come out before because it comes out in fall. Yeah. So, um, I don't know how they're going to do that because, like, I think we talked about it on the podcast. I don't know if it's out or not, but the Madden series, at least, if you purchase it prior, you get like an immediate upgrade. Um, yeah, I feel like they could honestly just you buy the the ps4 version and then it just is on the PS5. when the playstation 4 came out if you had like i did with black flag uh even like with physical copy you'd bring it into your local game store and you would trade in for 10 bucks at eb games like you would trade it in and pay 10 dollars for the new one so i went in with my ps3 copy of black flag i put it down i gave 10 bucks and they gave me the playstation 4 copy they had it with like the call of duty game that was out they had it yeah. with like a lot of the but main this, titles minecraft did that digitally if i remember correctly mm-hmm. if they're doing the backwards compatibility then you they would have to do it for it free in. and it's just an enhanced copy yeah. Like you just get a, like a uh, texture pack. That uh, if, if NBA, if you were intending to buy a PlayStation Five and you saw NBA comes out in like October and then like the PlayStation Five is going to be released in November, why would you not just wait anyways? Some but, people can't, man. I know some people are. My cousin plays all the uh, all the sporty games, and he would not wait. So. Uh, I could wait. Yeah, I could also wait. The only reason I always want to play NBA games to make the generation is of miracles. To make the generation of miracles from Kirko's basketball. On a team, I have uh, the one that was free on PlayStation Plus. Just to make, the I haven't downloaded it, but I, I could do it one day. So yeah, I don't like. Once again, they didn't show any gameplay, but like, did they need to? We all know what it looks. That guy like. was sweaty. That guy was very sweaty, and the sweat looked good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lick that sweat right uh, off his body, uh, like Gatorade. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're a fan of NBA, I'm sure you're pumped. No one's surprised. There's gonna be a 2K21. There'll be a 2K22. I'm surprised nothing EA was announced, like sports wise. Probably saving everything. Probably. For their own like EA conference, mm. their own shitty conference. Yeah. The next one, Bug Snacks. Um. <laughs> so that game looks like Viva Pinata. It okay, but I guess like everyone people Except liked worse. Octodad, right? So, yeah, that game was pretty fun. So the game has potential to still be fun. It just didn't look very good. It like I said, it all depends on the price. If this is another thirty nine forty nine title, and my like my kid gets a little older, then yeah, maybe I'll get that. But for me. That's a no. Day one launch, seven nine ninety nine. Uh, I don't think it'll be a launch Bug title. Bug snacks. Yeah. <laughs> now, as I said, I don't think anything other than NBA on the rest of the list will be a launch title. Okay. But I mean, everything maybe. else I can tell you is not a launch title. <laughs> uh, after that, after Bug Snacks is uh, the next probably best one that was shown. Uh, probably like the second or third best thing that was shown, which was Demon Souls. Uh, yeah. 
because we kind of knew that that was coming. Yeah, like, that was a heavy, heavy rumor. Thing. But like, I'm super hyped that the studio who's doing it is doing it. Though. Blue Point. Yeah, yeah, they, they're yeah. so they good. Do such a good fucking. Because I thought like when that showed, I was like, oh, this look that looks good. Like there, I mean, there was a small chance it could have been just like a remaster, but like a full remake is way better. Because I feel like that game is a remaster still. Like I still find like Dark Souls One remastered like, you know still semi hard to play in like the sense where it, it you know i'm so used to like bloodborne and like yeah. dark souls 3 that's and all the that only thing shit. i'm wondering if they're going to change the combat because the combat was very clunky for demon souls it's the only reason i couldn't go back and beat it um after like trying and i got like halfway through it I and I they're just, just gonna make it much more like dark souls 3 i'm probably sign me up because like they're not, they're not gonna make it like bloodborne because that's it's, like its own thing yeah well, you know what I mean, like fast pace yeah it's actually one of the most difficult games i've tried to find in the wild Cause like it I, was hard to get when it came out. I uh, I was on like I went through a period where I was really into From games, and I was like, I really want to just buy this game. Mm-hmm. Um, and I checked in my local EB. I checked out an EB in Kingston. I checked out an EB in Belleville. Went to a bunch of different like used game stores. Couldn't find it. And then one day I was at like we have two EBs here in town, mm-hmm. and I was at um, one of the EBs that's not in the mall. And I just walked in. I was like, hey, do you guys have Demon Souls? And they're like, yeah, someone just traded it in today. And I was like, okay, sick. And they're like, it's $20. And it was like a PlayStation 3 game. How much did he trade it in for, though? Imagine if you were there at the counter when he was trading it in. I'll give you $6, sir. <laughs> yeah, the guy would have been like, yeah, that trades in five bucks. You'd have been like, five fifty. Five and a penny. <laughs> but I was fine I was fine with paying the 20 bucks. Yeah. I, I haven't touched it, honestly. So you've played the other From games. Yeah. The I think Demon Souls is up there in, in some of the best parts of the From Software games. It's just fucking hard to play because it's bad it's controls. Old. But now, yeah. now though, th- who knows? Maybe it's better than Bloodborne. Maybe no, we'll play. I, I can say that's no. highly <laughs> unlikely, but um, I'll, I'll get that day one though. Uh, yeah, I'll probably get a day one. You said you had some uh, news about it. Yes. So, oh, yeah, um, people are boycotting. It is that sounds right. Okay. As as okay. expected, when people are boycotting stuff, it, it is normally dumb. Okay. So, uh, it was announced on like a PlayStation blog that there was going to be two graphical modes, a 60 frame per second. Yeah. And a like high fidelity one where, you know, <laughs> the textures are up and stuff like that locked at 30. Okay. So Monster Hunter did that. Oh, no, sir. Yeah. That's fucking garbage. That was the best part of Monster Hunter. So I no, loaded no, up no, on my no. PS4 Pro. Excuse me, sir. This isn't a PlayStation 4 Pro. This is a PS5. It should all be there. Yeah. <laughs> That, that's what they're saying. So I'd rather uh, look nicer and run at 30 than, but it than run at 60. It depends on what you're doing. Like, let's say we wanted to record some gameplay to put up on, like, a review or something like that. I'd put, like, the super good graphics on so it looks nice and, it's, and when I render yeah. it, it looks better. But if I'm just playing it by myself, trying to beat, like, boss and shit like that, Dude, I would just be playing a, it with the... A From Software game at 60 is FPS, already a blessing. Yeah, that's amazing. Like, I don't, I don't give a fuck about the graphics at all. Like, it could be terrible graphics as long as... It runs really well. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. it's just like the dumbest thing to complain like about. Like when I start up Monster Hunter, it literally asks you, do you want more graphics? So more like um, like uh, foliage and shit like that. Do you want a, a locked frame rate or do you want 4K? Yep. You can pick between any of those options. I always pick frame rate because I don't have a 4K TV and uh, I don't care for extra plants. But like that's an awesome... I, I having mean, like, options Sekiro like that... Sekiro had that option too, did it not? I'm just pretty sure that what's happening is people are like, no, it's the PlayStation 5. It Probably. should all be there. Yeah. Yeah. So they're boycotting it. Some people are like, I'm just going to buy a PC now. Oh, yeah. That's, I was going to say, okay. those are the people that I thought would do I'll, that. Are the I'll PC give you people. a strong bet. Um, no matter how, you would have to buy a $2,000 PC to probably play any of these games. Especially yes. if you want all the settings on yeah. max. If you want something to run at 4K, 60 frames a second, you, good luck finding anything under $1,500 to do that. It's just ridiculous. The graphics card you need is $1,000. So, yeah, Demon Souls looks good, though. I'm going to buy it. Yeah, I'll day buy one. it. I'll Launch buy it day title? One. No. no. Um, summer 2021. I would like early 2020. I'd like, Me too. I'd like February. Actually, I'm going March. I'm changing it. Because like Bloodborne came Bloodborne out. Bloodborne is March. March. Uh, Sekiro is March. I'm going to say February because they're going to beat March. <laughs> okay. Do better than last time. Yep. The next game. The second. I know what game you're waiting for, and it's the next one. The no, there's two games I'm waiting for because one of them's fucking out there. Is it Deathloop? No, okay. Th- I'm actually super hyped for because Deathloop is the next game on the list. <laughs> it is our second uh, Deathloopy game. Can I can I give you guys a side note here? Yeah. yeah. Um, 
Well, one when when it was shown, I was like, okay, what does this look like? This looks like something I'm I've seen before. Dishonored. It looks like Dishonored. It looks like Dishonored. And then I was like, it's, it's made by Arcane, Arcane Studio. Yeah. <laughs> and Arcane actually has a sale. Well, they're part of the PlayStation sale right now, mm. and I just picked up Prey and Dishonored two for twenty bucks. That's for the also, I said this before. I always find Dishonored looks a lot like Bioshock Infinite. Yep. Yeah. Um, so it looked. Have you ever Bioshock played Infinite. Prey? No. The original Prey is way better, but the new Prey though is like a spiritual successor to Half Life. Like you gotta play it. Like yeah. it's, it's surprisingly good. I've only played like two and a half hours, but well, okay. Well, let, let maybe finish the game. Later, Phil Mr. beat it as much as he beats most of the games. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, no, the combat in Deathloop looks so, so fun. Actually, the thing Phil was complaining about was the thing I actually hope it was. Do you remember what you were complaining about? You said that if each time you have to, when you die, at the it's refight the same all thing the eight people. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought it's that'd like be cool. It's like a speed running game. So you're like, you're like shooting things and slamming people it's, against walls. It's like a stuff. Dark Souls game. I remember when I, or let's like, let's, let's just take Bloodborne, for example. Yeah. It took me like five hours to be able to do like the first area in Bloodborne, like effectively. But then mm. after that, every other time I start the game, it's just you like a freaking it. dash. You know where to like so dodge roll. You know everything. It will have save points. So it's not like you start at the beginning of the game. I it's, wish you do. That'd be cool. you, you, there's probably. I guarantee you, hard mode is that. Like the hard mode or whatever yeah. is probably that. But uh, they showed that game off E3 last year. I'm pretty yes. sure. Um, and I said that game looks awesome. They, they put a focus on last year was just about the two assassins fighting each other, right? Yeah. They didn't show. Really they didn't any... show like the graphics. I don't think really looked like. the I just same love type that he's like shotgun reloads it with the flip, and he's like slamming people against the wall and the so roof. I and was stuff like, like that. sold in the game, but then I really liked at the end where they tossed in the the other assassin part because yep. they left it for the end, and then that's like. Is it like They're two different? Play, yeah. yeah, is it like two different things? Is it like a multiplayer game? Is someone playing the assassin? What if it's a multiplayer only game? I, uh, you know what? If if there's a multiplayer game uh, where like one person is specifically sent out to kill the other person, I'm sure that's gonna get people in trouble. It's gonna get in fights. It's gonna yeah. be like playing sorry. <laughs> I think that'll be a launch title. Um, I don't think so. I, still, uh, yeah. I feel or at least holiday. It'll be holiday though. I'm putting like late November. Uh, it looked good though. I liked all the gameplay where he's like. You know, force pushing everybody around. Kind yeah, of stuff, he's and just shooting slapping them. people against walls. I love when he like just he, like casually slides them out the window. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah and it looked good. Yeah, I, I thought that I remember seeing that at the E3, but it was so different. It was just like a room where like two assassins had to like fight each other. And it's like, oh, if you no, lose. I think it was just all a trailer. Okay. I don't think there was any gameplay the last no, time it showed. Wasn't. Okay, I just remembered that it was just. But like I a, like the like simple. '70s like colors and stuff like that. Yeah. It's, it's very the aesthetic. Of it's it very, very pleasing. Nice. So I'm I'm. I, like that was one of the games I was pretty excited for. It's not my most excited game, but it was definitely up there. Are you gonna get that day one? Uh, it depends when it comes out. Like it all depends if there's if it's a crowded season. If it isn't, then hell yeah, I'll get that day one. But yeah, if it comes out at the same time as like five other games on this list that you know we then want no, more, probably not. Because you know that's that's another one of those games that like think about how cheap like shit like Dishonored and stuff goes to. Yeah, like a year after it comes. To out. To be fair, I've actually been watching the price of Dishonored too. For I would say the last like two years because I like Dishonored one, mm -hmm. and the lowest I've seen it really go on console is twenty five dollars. Yeah. So I bought Dishonored for like thirty dollars like a year after it came out, like Dishonored two. Yeah. Yeah. It was so it was so cheap, it, but it stuck at that price for a while. So that's why when I saw it for basically ten, I'm like, yeah, I'm no, that's do it. that's worth it. Uh, the next game I feel like uh, is going to be the game everybody's excited for. Um, it's Resident Evil 8. The oh, Village. Village. Oh, that's shit. A day one so that's a 100% day one purchase for me. Um, the fact that it's exactly what was leaked earlier in the year. Uh, yeah. Back in January, it leaked that the next Resident Evil game had something to yeah. do with werewolves. So I didn't know it was supposed to be spooky. So it feels like, could this be the Resident Evil game? I'm like, no, Phil. Seven there's, was spooky. There's spooky yeah. things. Seven was spooky. But wasn't it just like normal zombie spookies? No. Was it not? Did you not play Seven at all? No, I haven't played any Resident okay, Evil Okay, so games. Seven, basically, it's the only game in Resident Evil that actually deserves its title. All the other games should be called Biohazard. Resident Evil 7 actually had evil residences. Evils that were residents. Yeah, of the house you were in. <laughs> yeah. But the, 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 the sister, or the, the wife story, was terrifying. I've seen the Resident Evil movies. They're all trash. That's because wait he, the CG or the the live action. The live action. Okay, they're both That's trash. He hired his a, wife. <laughs> trick question. Um, the the part where the 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 mother like bursts through the window is the creepy spider lady. Like it's a fucking terrifying game. That game's in VR. So do that you game will play, also be in VR. So a little bit of knowledge here, as far as I know. Okay. Are you playing the game as Ethan? Yes. And then, but the bad guy is Chris. Supposedly. Okay. <laughs> but it's gonna be like a twist, and he's not gonna be bad, or he's they're gonna, gonna team gonna up at the end. Doing something that he's because he looks. 
Holy is he going to be the evil Shadex of this game? He could be. Oh, wow. But um, have you seen what Chris looks like in Resident Evil 7? Uh, no. Okay, I'm going to show you. I know what he looks like in Resident Evil 8. I'm going to show you like a comparison a, picture. He looked Russian. He had like a trench coat and, you know, some scruff. And... Man, I, I think after time now, Resident Evil 7 might be my personal favorite Resident Evil. I think eventually... 2 is still like the, the remake 2 is my favorite, yeah. but uh, seven's right behind One it. day Phil might even beat 2. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, it's... Uh, you honestly should give like 7 a try. I really... Let's if, play in VR. I have it. <laughs> Do you have it in VR though? I don't have a VR. <laughs> Dog. Even like... Shout out Jesse. But Jesse... When, when we were over at his place, um, he's actually a big horror game guy. And he was telling me he bought it for Resident Evil 7. Yeah. And so I, that's what Chris Redfield looks like in Resident Evil 7. Oh, he looks like a bitch. <laughs> looks like a puss boy. <laughs> he does look like a puss boy. He looked boy. way cooler with a trench coat. Um, and then, yeah, 8. Uh, I don't know if they he looked Russian. Up pictures. He looks old and grizzled and, and <laughs> giant. <laughs> he looks, he looks like uh, he's a thick boy. Now he's Mr. Axe. He hasn't been hitting any 20. Well, he could be Mr. Axe. fast. But uh, I like that it's all werewolves. Um, the lady with the big cool hat, she was cool. I'm excited. Um, the guy who looked like Are Peter we sure Stormare. it's werewolves? Are it's, they maybe Wendigos? No, they're 100% werewolves. Okay. Uh, it was already leaked that it was werewolves, and I love the name Village. Yeah. Like with it's the V-I-I, like, and being eight. As soon as Village popped up, I was like, yeah. Now, when's really it coming cool. out? Uh, I think they already said it's uh, 2021. Yeah. But when? 2021? They said quarter quarter one, hopefully. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, is it going to be like quarter three, like spooky? No. Halloween? It's, <laughs> uh, the Resident Evil games will all come out in February, March. Uh, it's like the th- least spooky season of the year. I think Christmas would be the least spooky. Sir, a guy breaks into your house, steals your food, and gives me toys. <laughs> what about Resident Evil Grinch? <gasps> With... <laughs> okay, we only got two games left on the list. And one of them's a Mindbuster. Pragmata. Yep. <laughs> that game looked like shit. Uh, it didn't look like shit, but it looked like Hideo Ch- Kojima had yeah, definitely like, had something to I do with it. I asked if this was Death Stranding 2. Um, so... This is all rumors, so I can't guarantee it, but apparently uh, Hideo Kojima had been spotted going to Capcom Studios, and uh, this is a Capcom. It's so a that, Capcom it's game? It's made by Capcom. Okay, I have a little bit more faith. Yes, then. so that's why I'm like, mm, this looks like it could be cool. There's a cool little uh, ghost electronic cat um, and a spooky ghost girl, and she like, mine. Yeah, I don't know. there's an astronaut, a ghost girl, and a spooky cat. So that's the game. I'm putting money on it. 2022. That's the only game that said 2022 in it. Oh, did it say yeah, the title? It, it okay. Said, it said 2022. Every other game is 2020, 2021. Okay. Or it didn't talk I didn't about see it at all. the title or didn't see the, the time. Yeah, so, yeah, definitely that's a 2022. It was title. the only game that, I mean, it, it probably won't even come They didn't, out. No, they it barely showed anything. They don't need too. to. It's, it's the same problem as Death Stranding. They'll keep you in the dark and go, what the fuck is this game? Do you think, though, like Kojima was just like, yo, me having free reign to do whatever I want resulted in Death Stranding, which had like, do you think he cares about the feedback he got? From yeah, Death did Stranding? you not see what he yeah, said? He where said, he's like, he said Americans too suck, stupid. idiots. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he said Americans suck. Instead of being like, yeah, like I know, like it might not be a game for everyone because it's kind of fucking out there because I'm a little strange, but if it's for you, then you'll enjoy it. He's like, nah, you're just dumb if you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the I like the man. He's a he's a I respect it. Yeah. I respect Death Stranding in, in a certain way. I'm gonna borrow it back from a buddy of mine. I would have preferred it. if it was PT, like if it was the Silent yeah, he, Hill game. He can't Cause, like cause PT was spooky. Yeah, he but there there has been rumors that Konami is in the process of selling their IPs. Yeah. Because that like that would have been like the only that would have been like the first horror game I actually played. Because like after playing PT like multiple times, mm-hmm. how good it was for Dude, a playable trailer. Just play nope. Resident Evil Seven. It's so good. Too spooky. It's good though. It actually it's terrifying. It is but terrifying. It's really good. The mold men are pretty stupid, but the rest of the games. Good. Isn't that all the bad guys from Last of Us? No, <laughs> different. Different type different, of plant. Different type of mold. Uh, and then the final game was the what I think everybody could have guessed would have been the final game on the list. Was Hor- Horizon Zero. Forbidden West. Yes. Which I don't think anybody was surprised about. No. And I definitely thought that was... Gonna, I thought that if I would have guessed ahead of time, I would have said they would have showed... If you showed like, show me that list, it was like in which order, I would have been like Spider-Man first, Horizon last, everything else in the middle. Obviously, it was G- GTA first. I yeah. wouldn't have guessed that. But I would have guessed Horizon Well, last. no, GTA was just the trailer to the to the conference. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Showing us off Spider-Man. Yeah, but... Um, the worlds look amazing. Yeah, it looks good. I, I like it makes that me turtle. Wanna, it makes me want to beat... Horizon Zero Dawn. You should. I love that game. Yeah, I, I just don't have time. Meg just beat it on yeah. the beginning of quarantine. Yeah. So she was pretty excited when I showed her that trailer when she got home later. That's fair. Did she really like it? Yeah. 
Like I she th- was debating on buying the DLC. Yeah. I still haven't played that, the Frozen Instead, Wild she, games. After she beat that, she then beat Nina Kuni 2 right after. So. Nice. Good for her. You can buy um, like the complete edition for only like 10 bucks. 10 bucks, yeah. Which yeah. is totally worth the it. The turtle looked fantastic. Um, a lot of the uh, game's oh. going to be underwater. Yeah. I hope not. It, no, it's going to have underwater shit, but it's going to be like more exploring style stuff. I like, saw a video that said that the game's taking a big focus in underwater. Yeah. <laughs> which I'm sure Phil's excited I mean, for. I There's think alligators, man. There's going to be a fucking shark. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm I not really, playing the game really, anymore. Think of, remember the mechanic shark from James and the Giant Peach? I fucking hated that, that thing. thing. terrified me as a kid. I'm going to get flashbacks of that. The PTSD. Yeah. Dude, I, I, love, I love deserted island stuff. Yep. Like, I think that's really, really cool, especially tropical shit. So a lot of what they showed, I'm super excited for. And if it's like diving into a shipwreck and like you can go inside, that's fucking sick. Yeah. yeah you could do all that in Black Flag. I'm just saying. Yeah, but this is going to be good. Black so, Flag was good. Black Flag is really good. I, I'm i not going to say which one's better because I don't know, but Black Flag, Black Flag is really good. <laughs> but yeah, so <laughs> I'm uh, I'm pretty excited. I will get that day one no matter what. Even if there is a lot of underwater stuff, yep. I like the story so much in Horizon that I'll I can tell it. you that's not a launch title. Yeah, No, that'll definitely be, title. I think, 20, 2021 holiday. End of 21 one. Yeah. yeah. Meg, we'll, we'll get that day one too because Meg will want it. She, yep. I don't think she'll care very much about all the rest of the games on this list. She'll play Stray. If she looks at me and is like, hey, I want like, goodbye. Volcano, Volcano High. Volcano High. I just, I just take my PlayStation and break it. She's so like, I just throw you it on the ground. I just throw it on the <laughs> ground. Um, so yeah, that's that's the game wrap up. Yep. Um, so I guess briefly we're going to go over... The console. The console because that was the next thing they showed. To be fair, when we watched it, the first thing that Cam said was, Andrew's going to hate this. I said, as soon as it was popping up, too. I, I would have liked it if it wasn't. So I, 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 I've, it's grown on me now. Like I, don't I was able to judge much. based on the fact you hated the controller when they first I showed it. And I'm like, the system's going to match the I controller. I just don't like the two-tone. I, I like love it. I don't. I it. But Listen, it's the two-tone makes on me. a statement. And that's what matters. Yeah, I don't. I don't. It's where we live in. We live two in a two tone. I mean, if we live in a lot yeah, more than yeah, a two tone world. That's, that's, but but I, I like the futuristic design. I will fully I like admit the design. that the uh, digital only edition I think looks better. Not that I want it, but it looks better because it, it doesn't have sleeker, the disc but thing. The the thing can be sideways. Yes, and it will never be standing <laughs> up in my house. You no. get better uh, airflow when it's standing up, though. No, you don't. Yeah, because the one side's blocked. Uh, big big no, difference. There will be no ports on that side. Big airflow no. difference. I don't want to get into this too deeply, but. I think that Sony's like, yo, we can recoup so much more profit if we have all digital. I think that they'll make it significantly cheaper. I think it'll be $100 cheaper. So we, I was waiting until we got to this point to talk about it anyways. The big flaw with all digital is that PlayStation Now is not nearly as good as Xbox Game Pass. It's so. getting there. So if they, if they, yeah, it's only been six months since they changed it so you can download yeah. instead of stream. I, I can't. I can't. Like yeah, where I live, I fucking can't. You could. No, you could. I fucking so can't. You, you could now because you could download other places' houses. But like six months ago when it was streaming only, you definitely couldn't. No, like the streaming only you couldn't. But it would be the same as you downloading like a PlayStation Plus game. How long has it taken me to download those three games, guys? <laughs> when did when did I... Do? But like, it's the same thing. Like, as Dan said, too, if there's a game you want when you come over Tuesday for D&D, when you come over podcast recording yeah, days... Yeah, but let's, you say, you know, let's say we don't do anything on Friday and say the new big game comes out. I'm not going to drive into town specifically just to put my system on a doorstep to Tether install to something. But what happens if you can preload it? Like, let's say The Last of Us was on PlayStation Now. You preload it three days in advance. You might only have to wait one day afterwards to play it. Uh, if Okay, here's my big thing. Um, I still refuse to pay full price for a, a digital digital title. If if it's a membership like Game Pass, you know what? Fine. I don't. It, yes, I don't own the game, but it's a fraction of what the price of a game was. The fact that Game Pass works really well in the sense that you what is it twenty five dollars for a couple months? I don't know how much for it three is months, yeah. for three months. So you take that and yeah, that's like under fucking ten dollars a game yeah, or a month. See. Microsoft is literally just giving that shit away because you could you can stack three years of Xbox Live and then get the one dollar promotion. The one dollar promotion stacks it on to all three years. Yeah, so if you want Xbox Live anyways, like if you're an Xbox guy and you're getting three years of Xbox Live, you then get three years worth of um, really Xbox yeah, Game Pass for yeah, dude. Oh, that, like shit. thirty something bucks. Wow, altogether. So basically, like one of my friends, for example, he bought like. $180 worth of play or of uh, Xbox Live. Xbox Live. Yeah. And he's like, 
yeah, like I'm going to get the console day one and I'll have all these games and I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, like if I lived in town, it's a whole nother story. Like if I lived somewhere where I didn't have seven megs a second internet, I still would not buy the all digital edition because I'd like to have the option to, oh, I would like to watch this DVD I have or I would love to watch this Blu-ray I have. I'm not going to be like, oh, I guess I can't watch anything anymore. I think, though, that they'll look at this as an opportunity to get all of these people on board. Like, I think that the main console is going to be expensive as hell. They're going to have that, and then they're going to have the all-digital edition be significantly cheaper, be $100 less, so that they don't have to give, like, Best Buy, EB Games, any of those companies, any sort of, like, money based on that. Because there's going to be so many older parents who are going to be like, okay, well... I can pick up this console that's a hundred dollars more for discs, or they can just download the games at home, and then they're going to be like, "I'll just save the hundred dollars." You know what I mean? I just don't understand people with digital gaming. What the fuck? I mean, there's. I would still buy the the disc version, but like, me too. Like, I just like PlayStation Now, unless they actually come out with something saying that PlayStation Now is improving, because like. PlayStation Now, you're not getting day one games on PlayStation Now. It's not like when Last of Us 2 comes out, it's coming out on PlayStation Now, like they did with something like Gears 5, right? Like PlayStation Now is like months behind, if anything, like it, they need to improve a lot. If you wanted to run a system solely based off like with Xbox, you could just run a system off of Xbox Game Pass and have tons of options. Yeah. You got two, you got two things working to your advantage with buying digital, at least in Ontario. Number one, we don't have the video game culture to do midnight releases for a lot of midnight, like a lot of major games. Yeah. We don't have the culture around that. If we lived in New York or something, it would be different. But like a lot of people who want to play the game that night, unfortunately can't do that. Number two, you do save $10 because PlayStation PSN purchases are not taxed in Ontario. Right I now. mean, to be honest, you should be saving more than that, though. Ideally, if the if they wanted to go all digital, half price, it should be a lot less money because there's no shipping cost to ship your game there's out. No case, there's yeah, no there's, this, yeah, there's, 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 there's you lose so much cost there that really you should be paying. You're paying for a code, forty nine dollars and. But the sales on games, like that's the thing. You're not when I look at buying games, you're not necessarily uh, like you're paying for the convenience to pay, to play it early. Like 100%, it will become cheaper on PSN, like The Last of Us 2, for example. It'll become cheaper on PSN than it ever will on Best Buy. Like, before, like it'll become cheaper on PSN before it becomes cheap in stores. I find it's the other way. I find stuff in stores goes on sale faster before digital stuff does. I at least know, like, following it, from my experience, stuff usually goes cheaper on PSN first, especially, like, um, first-party titles. Now, but if you had a digital only edition, you wouldn't be able to use 10 day satisfaction guarantee. Yeah. And we do abuse that every now and then. But you have to ask <laughs> who's doing that. I feel like there's a lot. Of, it's not like we're fucking 1,000 IQ geniuses. The system is set up in a specific way yeah. as to play a game. You can, if you beat, it's not like they're like, hey, if you beat this game, you can no longer 10 but day satisfaction. The, the, tra like, the culture behind trade in is just terrible. Like even today, um, something was announced with like a. a a gaming store uh, taking trade-ins again. And I'm on like this, re this subreddit um, for Canadian video game deals. Mm -hmm. And people were just like, Oh sweet. Now I can get my $6. And we've <laughs> talked about it before. And I personally, obviously it's a convenience thing, but in that same breath, like there's just a lot of people who like just a, a lot of the dude bros, I feel like we'll just buy the game anyways and just blow the money. Yeah, probably. Obviously, depends. Like for the most part, I don't really like. I don't like trading in games, but you have to be able to look at a game, and be like, okay, will I play this again? If I play this again, how long from now? If I'm going to play this game from how long from now? What's the cost going to be then? If I can trade this in for fifty bucks now, but then buy this for twenty dollars three years from now, yeah, like dude. it's it's like you got to be able to do the yeah. math and I think about it. I got fifty dollars for Luigi's Mansion, and I beat it in a weekend more or less, and I was never going to play that game again. I did yeah. it with Mario Tennis. I did it with uh, Super Mario Maker. Like I just, I don't, I don't keep like these type of games anymore. Because yeah, eventually they do go super cheap, and I can get them later. But I, I can't afford to buy the trade in value anymore. on most Nintendo games is also like really good, especially yeah. if you go when there's like a promotion. Yeah, where like you're getting like fifty bucks back anyway. So it's like I only spent thirty dollars playing this game, which yeah. is pretty good. Well, I mean, in 2018, I played like. Of five triple A title games yeah. for a fraction of the cost, and then like like Spider Man for example got that shit day one with trading credit, mm -hmm. then.
traded it back in and got Red Dead and then bought Spider Man for ten dollars. Yeah, because you know you're like, okay, like this isn't like a this isn't like a triple A Nintendo title. This is like a Spider Man's gonna be twenty dollars at one point. Like it's just a fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's what that's why I don't think that we'll ever see just a completely all digital world. Which it's, is good. I, don't I, think. I will stand against yeah. it till the day. I don't I think die. we want an all. I mean, there there are some people out there that I'm sure the all digital PlayStation is like perfect for them, especially if it's going to be like a hundred, you know, hundred fifty dollars cheaper. Um, but yeah, I, I just like I don't want the option of like one day I'm like, hey, I want this disc. Like this is the game I've been waiting all my life for. I'm gonna get the collector's edition and keep it and be like, oh wait, I can't. I have this PlayStation. Yeah, I'd like, rather just pay the little bit extra mm-hmm. the one time. Just in and case. let's say ten years from now they cut off the servers. But what's frustrating you is... You can't download any of those digital games again. But we, we've discussed this before. Then you look at something like, like Spyro Reignited Trilogy where you have to download the other two games yep. via an update. Yeah. The disc is meaningless in that case. In that case, yes. There are cases where, yes, the disc yeah. is... Cases. <laughs> like Final, <laughs> Fan- Final Fantasy VII Remake, it was like one of the first games in probably like five years to not have a day one patch that I can recall. Yeah, I hated that it's I had to buy that digital game. Like I, I would much rather have that as physical. It's because I would have traded it in, because they're gonna do a, a multi pack with all of them later. Yeah. But like, why would I waste the money? Yeah, my logic was that like I, it, the situation that led us to having to buy that uh, digital was obviously out of our control. Out of our control. Yeah. So you gotta look at it like one day when there's a part four or three for that game, the first part, or when you buy the whole thing, it's gonna be cheap anyways. Mm-hmm. You'll be able to buy the first part for like twenty bucks, or you'll be able to buy the whole thing with all of them for like seventy or something like that. Yeah, I'll do so that. So I'm like, yeah, if I want it for the collection, I'll just spend that little bit of money. It's out of our control. Nothing we can do about it. But but like, I don't get people who are just like, oh, I'm gonna buy this game, play it for six minutes, and then never play it again. And I was like, well, that was a waste of eighty dollars. <laughs> At least I can lend like a physical disc to somebody. Yeah, but even Final Fantasy VII, like it was dope to be able to pre-download it and exactly at like twelve oh one just fire it oh, up. Yeah, just like watching the countdown. I'm on too it. old for that shit now. I wasn't yeah. for that. I mean, I still went to, I only went to bed at like two, which was pretty early, you know. But like I'm talking, like I was like sitting there, I was like texting like John, I think, and Phil, and we're just like, yo, like. 25 seconds left. We're just like yeah. watching it. I was a fucking sleep by Getting then ready. and I started playing it the next day. Yeah. It doesn't bug me that I missed 20 minutes of it in in retrospect like it just I I I don't understand digital gaming. Maybe I'm just like too old at heart and would rather have physical copies, but I don't get wasting your money on digital like games. There are some things like Animal Crossing I bought digital and I don't regret that at all. I've played 120 hours. Meg's played like 150 hours, and yeah. we only spent 79 bucks for it. That was a really good case of digital there. And even with with Christy, like Christy still plays a lot of Animal Crossing, and it's it's cool because like I've been playing a lot of Xenoblade, obviously it's just on the Switch. You know, and the I, Switch cartridges. She's or like, anything. she's like, oh, do you mind if I I play some Animal Crossing? I'm like, yeah, for sure. Then I just go over, hit a button, and then hand hand her the thing. Yeah. And then when I want to play Xenoblade again, she just hands it back. It's like the me. logic of why like I like indie games like digitally if I was gonna have them just because then I could just like flick up to it, play for a few minutes and kinda I don't have to worry about like switching the cards and that kind of shit. It's just mm-hmm. like, oh it's just on here. I can switch to it real fast. It's just time and place too. Like obviously I love Hollow Knight, but I'm not gonna buy a physical copy for sixty dollars when I can get the yeah. digital. Yeah that indie kinda. indie's the only thing I'll buy like well, obviously, for most parts you have to, yeah, but like I'm not, I'm not gonna buy a physical copy of an indie title. It's not like worth it. it's not worth it. But I'm not gonna buy like let's say this new Star Wars uh, Rogue Squadron game. I'm not gonna buy that digital. I'm gonna play and beat that in a weekend, and then get rid of it. Yeah, I'm not, and, and very unlikely I'm gonna ever go back to it until they make it the free PlayStation Plus game months from now. Well, even while this was all going on, um, a lot of my friends, Cam included, like were like, hey. We got a lot of time on our hands. Like, do you have any games that we could possibly borrow? Like, I I lent out six games to different people. Yeah, they were yeah. all on disc. Just yeah, we borrowed like, uh, Spider Man Horizon. Yeah, played like two hours of Spider Man. <laughs> didn't care for it. Um, and then Meg uh, beat Horizon. So I don't know how you didn't beat Spider Man. Uh, I just didn't hook me. I don't know. It probably if I would have like been like no camp, sit down, force yourself to play like three more hours, maybe it would have. I'm not. I'm not blaming Spider Man. It might have just been the time the and place. But swinging though. The swing was the swing was the only thing I liked. The combat was like I hated it. I'm like, ah, oh, this is boring oh. as shit. I, I literally would prefer to play Assassin's Creed combat than Spider Man combat. But the combat probably gets really good late game. You probably have way more options and you, shit you like do. that. But it's good. Yeah. It's a good game. It's just, it is a good game. It's like a, it's like that classic thing about like Final Fantasy 13 where someone's like, no, it's good after 20 hours. Spider Man <laughs> probably would be good Spider-Man's- earlier. 
done by 20 hours. <laughs> but yeah. it's not that. It's just that anytime, if, if for me as a gamer, it's always hard to be like, you have to look at games sometimes. I did this with WoW before when I was playing that. And I was like, this is a game, but am I having fun? Yeah. And you're like, if you're not having fun, it's like, why are you playing this? Well, I feel like we're getting on a large tangent because we're supposed so, to be talking about systems. Well, briefly, but... this all stemmed from digital yeah. only. Because um, this uh, is the first time a console is launched with a, a launched, digital yes. only version. Yeah. Um, that's I was, you know what? I would prefer that it launched with a digital only than if it launched with a PlayStation Five Pro. Um, yeah, so me too. thank God it didn't do that. So yeah, let's be I'm happy honestly about pretty that. happy about but that. But the predictions were correct that they were going to have two models. Yep, that's true. I was just like when people said that, I think the the first go to was a. PlayStation 5 and a PlayStation 5 Pro. Like, the, or, the regular PlayStation would sell like trash unless it was significantly cheaper. Yeah, I don't know. Than the Pro version. Do you think that it's going to be the same price point, just like the regular one's going to have one terabyte and then the digital Digital's one's... two terabytes? Yeah. Do you think it'll be something like that? I, I still I think, think it'll so. be 100 bucks cheaper. I don't think... I think maybe $50 cheaper, but a bigger hard drive. Because a, a lot of the rumors right now from Microsoft is they have like a, a digital-only one called Lockhart that's going to be like kind of like a, a shittier version of the Series X. Yeah, then why would you buy it? Um, just so people can have Game Pass, and it'll be slightly better than the Xbox One X, I guess. Um, but I guess this was, like, their answer to that. So, yeah. because Microsoft, I guess, is going to, like, undercut the price and just be, like, cheap as fuck. So, one thing, obviously, that uh, you're disappointed or we were expecting, we weren't expecting, was the, they didn't show off the release date and they didn't show off the price. Now, yeah. all of us last week had predictions... Yes. And we're yep. going to say them on here. Five ninety nine and November seventeenth is, I think, what I put. I went conservative just to believe, and I said five forty nine. And I said, what day did I say? I guess said like November eighth. It was near yours, but I picked a Friday because I wanted to believe. Um, Phil, what did you say while I looked this up? I'd have to look at our chat as well. I can look at the calendar and just assume what day you you picked. Yeah, I think say. I picked the first week. You picked, yeah, Phil picked early. Okay, he was November yes. 9th, is I think what he said, and then I said the 17th, and you said the 20th, is what you would have yes. said. Yeah, mine was November 20th for 549. Yeah. Uh, how much, you said yours was 599, 599. and you went with what, 649? 649. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, listen, I want my guest to be right. <laughs> yeah, me too. I also <laughs> want your guest right, but it's, I, I feel like it's more realistically mine. It'll be more expensive. I was just praying that they took a, a really big undercut when Xbox announces theirs to try yeah. and win. Um, two ninety nine. The, the conversation that we had about it is that our, like, as Canadians, our dollar is garbage. It's terrible, trash. So we could run into the issue of like a thousand dollar system and Americans like coming over here. Like, if we have it at five ninety nine, I think we worked it out that that's four eighty five American. Yeah. So if they have like a a, a five fifty system or something like that, they're going to be like, oh sweet, let's just go over the border and buy this. They should ban Americans from coming over and buying them. They should just ban that all the time. I mean... <laughs> uh, well, think of it. Wave 2 is going to hit with COVID, yep, and nobody yep. can board yeah, travel. Yeah, no one will be allowed. Then we won't get any systems. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything else? Were you guys super happy about one specific thing? Super disappointed with um, I was happy that uh, Resident Evil, but I knew it was going to be announced there. I mean, my top three are definitely Ratchet & Clank. Resident Evil and Demon Souls. Anything you think they missed? Anything you're like, man, this game should. I'm surprised showed. God of War didn't have any form of hint. Really? Because yeah. at the end of regular God of War, it said two years later. Yeah. Which would be 2020. So I'm surprised nothing was said. Like, but Matt, that that's only in game two years. People are like, that's a hint. It's coming out. Yeah, in two but that's years. that's still a good cheeky nod. Like, even say something this year, like it's coming. Or yeah, Matt, even just boy, like Matt thought it was coming. They're you, gonna show but it, you right? can't. You can't have it all at once no no no. i get that but all i wanted was just even just a boy and it like 2021 that's 2034 all. yeah I, I think we'll get it 20 it's 21 20, 22 yeah. like somewhere in there um for a brief second when they showed spider-man we thought it was going to be a new infamous game yeah yeah with the electricity i also thought that i was like that's sick i think that they should do another one because infamous even second, second son. son was fucking but it was good. troy baker though we love Troy Baker. We do love Troy Baker. Um, obviously, I already said oh, I'm fucking no tired, Knack sorry. 3. Yeah. Disappointing. Yep. That's yeah, a, yeah. That's a staple now of new PlayStation systems. If I pull up your PlayStation profile, will it say you've played Knack? It'll say I've played Knack 1. And that has, he has played Knack 1. Uh, when I bought a PlayStation 4, it was like the only game I could find. And I was like, fuck, I'm playing Knack 1, I guess. Um, I'm wondering what quantity is going to be like. Because Bad. I... 
Definitely, as soon as they announce it, I'm going to pre-order. I'm going to I'm going to try at least price depending. I'll pre-order it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when do you think they're going to talk about the price? Uh, the next. So this, I'm just going off other stuff. But the next uh, Resident Evil news is in August. And I, I guess Microsoft is announcing their price in July. That's what the rumor is. So oh, okay. Like a so week after a that. week after they'll do that. we'll hear what PlayStation's price is. Um, do and we have? Do we, I asked this in the chat. Today. Do we have confirmation on any other E3 like conferences? Nothing that I've heard. I know that EA has one. Yeah. And Nintendo needs to get the fuck out here because there is still they, they have Paper Mario next month, and that's and it. That's it. There's a rumor that um, Mario sixty Mario sixty four got listed on some website for August. Yeah. I'd buy it still. Not I'm lie. not gonna buy. I'm not buying Mario. I'm not gonna lie. I'd buy Mario. I, I'll buy Sunshine and. Uh, um, and Galaxy I would buy Mario 64 digitally because I want it just like a flick on real quick, get a star, and close the game. If it's 80 bucks, <laughs> go fuck yourself. It will not be 80 dollars. <laughs> uh, I think that's everything on the PlayStation 5 for now. I think that's good. Um, obviously, we'll be talking. I don't think we'll have to do a full episode, but when they announce the price, we'll be talking about it. Anytime, hopefully, like we get a Nintendo Direct. Hopefully, we get something I want really something soon, something really cool from EA. Because they have to announce the Smash character. They announced that it's from Arms, but nobody knows who it is. It's Arms guy. It's not Spring Man. He's already in Arms the game. Girl. Uh, it could be. <laughs> I don't know. I think I it's the girl the with the dragon characters. hands. Because after Paper Mario, is that a, like, is that a book? Hmm? The girl with the no. dragon hands. <laughs> um, is that a book? <laughs> no, no a dragon book. tattoo. Yes, oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. After Paper Mario, what is there? Nothing. That's what I mean. Like we got to get something going. Yeah, for like I I did remember reading that COVID's hitting, uh, like Nintendo really bad. So like they could just have shit delayed. But the Pokemon DLC is uh, tomorrow, which is the seventeenth of uh, June. Have they actually officially announced that? Yeah, because I was watching Austin oh. John plays today, and they still have no date. Really? They have predictions of when it'll be. But I thought they no- confirmed that it's the seventeenth. Yeah, that's what I thought too originally. But I was watching. I watched like six. He came out with like four videos today. I think alone. But all, all, all that hype, I feel like they ha- it has to be tomorrow. I thought it was the 17th. It doesn't have to be shit. Yeah. I thought it was the 17th or 18th. I have it purchased. I have it downloaded. Or I, you can't even pre-download it yet, which no, is one of the things. It's probably already downloaded on an update and it'll just unlock. I'm excited, though. I was trying to hatch a good uh, good slow poke today. Ooh. But yeah, um, PlayStation 5 looked good. We'll come back whenever we get more information on price and that kind of stuff. And then we'll see whose predictions says, were right. It says 17th. What the, well, hopefully. Is it going to be midnight tonight? It could be. I don't know. I'll find out at midnight, I suppose. I don't remember if I bought it or not. I bought um, the uh, the other one. First episode back, physical. Yeah, That's cool. Weird. Hopefully, yeah. we'll have another one next yeah, week. Yeah, physical, not digital. <laughs> Physical's better, yeah. bitch. That's Hopefully, true. we'll have another one next week. Um, probably a more normal one. We'll probably have multiple topics. We'll probably actually talk about what we've been doing for the last yeah, month, two months or whatever it's been. Yeah. Uh, but anyways. I want to beat Persona 5 by the time we come back. <laughs> okay, I beat fucking Persona 5 Royale before you put one dungeon into the fucking How game. How much time? He won't beat that? it. Maybe we should talk about this off yeah. air. He, won't, yeah. he will not beat Persona 5 by the time we come back on the next episode. I can, I can guarantee, guarantee you that. You that. Um, but once again, guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching Ooh. us in person. Uh, I've been Cam. I'm Andrew. And I'm Phil. And take it easy, guys. See you next week. Bye, guys. Stay tuned for our next episode. Local play only. Local play only.